Okay, so just like with exponential equations, if you have the same base on each side, you can go ahead and equate the exponents. If you don't, then you got to do a little something else. So here with log functions, if you have um, logs on every single term, so like here I have log base 5 of 2x minus 3 and log base 5 of 3x minus 9. So I have two terms, they both have logs on them. So um, what I need to do is I need to condense first if next necessary. So if I had like another log base 5 of x there, I would have to combine those before I could drop the logs, but I don't. We'll see an example of that in a little while. But since I have log 5 on each side, what kind of happens is they just cancel out. And then you're left with 2x minus 3 equals 3x minus 9. So logs on each term, you got to get log equal to log. Once you do that, the logs drop off and you can solve. Now, you do have to remember here that you cannot take the log of a negative number. So when you solve, you're um, at the potential risk of an extraneous solution. So we've got to just check for that. Keep that in mind. So go ahead and solve this. Subtract 2x, add 9, easy peasy. So we'll have 6 equals x. So x is 6. The one thing you want to do is just check if I plugged 6 back into either one of the logs, would I end up with a negative number? So 12 minus 3 is positive, and 18 minus 9 is positive. So x equals 6 is good. Now when we look at um, problem 6 here, we have natural log, natural log, no log. So that means we don't have a log in each term, so we have to do it a little bit different. We have to exponentiate each side. We have to undo a logarithm. So just like we undo an exponent with a log, we undo a log with an exponent. So I have to remember here um, that natural log is base e. So before I can do that, I have to first um, condense these two. So I'm going to remember that when I have two logs separated by um, subtraction, I'm going to make that into division. So put a little note there that we're going to condense that. So this becomes the natural log of x plus 4 on top and x minus 3 on the bottom. And it's still equal to 3. So think about this. This is really a little log base e. So to undo a log base e, I need to put an exponent base e. So e to the natural log of x plus 4 over x minus 3 equals e to the third power. This right here, that's a number. You're going to get that number from your calculator. So now I'm going to go ahead and cancel these out because that's what exponents, exponential bases do to logarithms. So I'm going to end up with x plus 4 divided by x minus 3 equals whatever e to the third power is. And e to the third power is a number in my calculator. It's about 20.086. So now I'm going to solve this. Well, i got to get x on one side, numbers on the other, so I'm going to multiply each side by x minus 3. Now I'm going to do that because i got to get rid of that fraction. Now I'll move up here, squeeze this in. So I'm going to have x plus 4 equals, we're going to distribute that, so I'm going to have 20.086x minus 60.257. So now I'll go ahead and solve this. Add the 60.257 to each side. So now on the left side, we're going to have 64.257, and then we're going to subtract our 1x. So 20.086 minus 1 is going to be 19.086. And then we're going to go, and that's an x, and then we're going to go ahead and divide. And we'll get our final answer, which is 3.0. 0.367. Do a quick check. Make sure if you were to plug that in, you're not going to get a negative number. If we plug it into the x minus 3, since it's more than 3, we won't, um, we won't have to worry about any extraneous solutions. Okay, so now we're checking this one out. We only have log on one of the terms. This 3 over here doesn't have a log. Um, so we're going to have to exponentiate each side. We've got to get rid of the log base 4. So that means I'm going to use an exponent of base 4. So exponent base 4 log base 4 of 5x minus 1 equals exponent base 4 of 3. So remember, we got to do the same thing on each side. So now we're doing that exponent base 4 because log base 4 is the same, and those will cancel out. So now we're going to be left with 5x minus 1, and this right here, that's a number. In fact, that's 64. So go ahead and add that 1 
So 5x equals 65. And now x will equal 13. Don't forget to go ahead and plug that 13 in real quick. 13 times 5 um, is going to be 65. Minus 1 is going to be positive. So we're really just checking to see are we going to get any sort of negative numbers. So this last one here, we don't have log on each term. So don't be deceived by this little one right there. So what we have to do is we have to move this log over to the other side. So on this last problem, you see that we started with a log of something equaled a number. So we need to make this one over here, this number 8, look the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and add that over. So now I'll have log base 12 of x plus log base 12 of x plus 1 equals 1. So now what I have to do is I have to get both of these logs condensed down into 1. So 2 logs separated by addition means I'm going to multiply. I'm going to multiply x times x plus 1. So log base 12 of x times x plus 1. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. And I'm going to keep that in parentheses because it's log base 12 of that whole thing equals 1. Now that I have one log equal to a number, now I can exponentiate each side. So I can say, okay, log base 12 means exponential base 12. And make that whole thing into an exponent now. And we're going to have to do the same thing over here. So now that log base 12 is going to cancel out with that exponent base 12, and I'm going to be left with x squared plus x. Guys, this should be an x, so sorry, change that. And then 12 to the first power. I'll evaluate. That's a number. In fact, it's 12. Now, magic. Look what note has popped up into our equation in x squared. So what are we going to have to do? Factor, factor. I know, I'm kind of ridiculous, aren't I? So x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0 because we got to get that um, set equal to 0. So now numbers that multiply by negative 12, add up to be positive 1. Ding, ding, ding. The magic numbers are x plus 4 and x minus 3. So that means that x is going to equal negative 4 and or 3, keeping in mind that we've got to get them to be positive. You can't take the log of a negative number, so it has to be in any one of the pieces. So right here, that log of x, that negative 4, that is not going to work. We cannot take the log of negative 4. So negative 4 is out. 3 is good. When you plug 3 into the x plus 1, you still get a positive number. So 3 is your only answer.